y'all already know what time it is. See, check me out, man. Before I start my video, y'all already know what to do. Bro. Hit that like, comment, and subscribe, man. And share this content. Let's build this page up, man. I had dropped this story on one of my Facebook uh, posts, but I want to get real deep in the, in the detail on this one right here, right? It's New Year's, man. And y'all already know, I'm cool. So I'm kicking it with my partner Chris, right? Now me and Chris had already kind of started embarking on different adventures, you feel me? I remember I told y'all about the BB guns we had and shit, we spray painted the BB guns all black. You know, we had the bandana, we had the mask. And you know, we thought we were doing something, right? So New Year's come around, that day come around. Yeah, I know my mom work at night. So I asked my mom, like, hey, mom, you think, you know what I'm saying, stay night with Chris? And she was like, yeah, you can stay night with Chris. I'm like, cool. So halfway through that day, right, or not halfway through it, like, like in, in, the, in the morning or the evening time, his stepdad was like, hey, y'all come over here with me to uh, Queensboro. I'm like, I bet. I told my mom, like, hey, mom, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm going with Chris. And his stepdad, I ain't tell her where I was going. I was just saying, like, you know, I'm going with them. Cause you said I can stay the night. She was like, all right, cool. So I go over there with him, boy, and we go to Queensboro. Now, at this time, like, I ain't gonna say I don't really know nothing about Queensboro, cause if you ain't from the city, you don't know. You know what I'm saying? Uh, Piermont, I think, I think that's Piermont. You know what I'm saying? I know it's north though, you feel me? So I wanna say it's Piermont. That hospital up there, you feel me? Queensboro, kind of like by the backgrounds and shit. Uh, it's on the north side, you feel me? Like, it, it, it's on the north for the, for the uh, strip club. But it's dangerous up there, though, you feel me? Like, like, like any other hood, bro, it's, it's dangerous, bro. Like, on the side note, I don't know, I forgot Kim Fuck's name. I think his name was like Cedric. Cedric Glover or something like that. I, I, I don't wanna just say nothing. And then be completely wrong about it, but uh, he had killed a, a cop, executioner style, in the house. Called the cops over there, bang. As soon as the cop walked in the door, bang, killed him. And he was from Queensboro, you feel me? So it ain't nothing to play with over there, and I know that. And we young at this time, though, you feel me? So we get over there, we get the cooling and whatnot, you feel me? Everybody smoking, so we blowing down. You know what I'm saying? We blowing down, smoking the gas, whatever. So me and Chris decide like, man, we bored. We bored now, you feel me? Let's go outside, let's go shoot our guns out. Let's go shoot our guns out, right? So we shooting our guns and shit. And mind you, right, he had his, I had mine, and then we had another one, but the other one was like an airsoft gun, right? My, me, and, me and his shot metal BBs. The metal pellets, no holes hurt. The, uh, the extra one we had, that bitch was just an aerosol. That bitch just shot. It wasn't, it wasn't no CO2. You feel me? Like the ones we had, bro? No. No, it didn't shoot CO2. I just shot the middle of that. The, the CO2 gun? That bitch hit hard. You hit me? So, we out there shooting around with the, uh, we had one middle pentagon, and then we had the aerosol. As we shoot at each other and shit, I see an all black Either Crown Vic or motherfucking uh, is it Crown Vic or Grand Marquis? That bitch drove by slow as shit. So I'm facing the road and Chris facing me. So I'm telling him like, hey, bro, hey, bro, hold on, hold on, real quick. He like, nah, you ain't gonna get me like that. I'm like, nah, bro, I'm dead ass right now. Hold on, bro. Like, I just feel like something ain't right. He like, what's up? I said, come this way, bro. So he came over there by where I was, we were by the shed. I was telling him, like, bro, this this black uh, Vic. That's what we call Crown Vic. I was like, bro, this this black Vic. Or uh, uh, the Marquis had just passed through it. It was going slow as hell, bro. With the windows kind of cracked, right? And we talking about it. We talking about it. So now we starting to walk up toward the front. And we was in the back shooting the guns and shit, right? As we getting up to the front, the dude passed by slow again, right? Now, I'm pretty sure he had that window down. He seen us playing with the guns. He seen us shooting them, but he ain't hitting them. Fop, fop, fop. He didn't hit it. So he, that let him know, 
those ain't real guns, right? So he come back slow again. All right, let's go in the house. Let's go in the house. We go in the house, but we didn't tell nobody about what we just seen. Cause you gotta understand, like for us, we we ain't got no ops over here. We don't know nobody over here. You feel me? Me and Chris ain't never hit no lick over here. We don't even phone queen bro like that. So it's like, you feel me? Like what type of time in this day on? We we was just like shit. I don't know. Either folk must be looking at a house or something, you feel me? Like, I don't know. So we get inside, bro. They and the, you know what I'm saying? Music loud and whatever. Around this time, as it's all going on, the sun is starting to go down. It's starting to get dark. And you know what they say in Queensbury? It's dangerous at nighttime, you hear me? Nah, for real, bro. So, we in there. You know what I'm saying? They, they, they smoking, we smoking, you know what I'm saying? And now that I'm older, I know they had to be doing dope. You know what I'm saying? In the back, in the bathroom, whatever you feel me. They, they, they was going hard with it. It's New Year's, bro, like, we thugging, right? We thugging. Man, by the time we went in the house, started smoking, bro, probably like 20 minutes had passed since we last seen that car. Boy, boy, we get off in that home, and next thing you know, this all you hear. Boop, 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 boop. I'm talking about like it had to be at least like it had to be at least like two to three people shooting. I right, had to be at least like two to three people shooting. Boop, 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 boop. So now they shooting through the wall, the windows, the door, everything, bro. I immediately hit the floor. Immediately hit the floor. And like, I'ma tell you what's real, I'ma tell you what's crazy. I'ma tell you what's crazy. You don't know, like you, 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 you think you gangster until them guns get to shoot. I swear to God, boy. Cause like your body gonna, your body gonna lock up before you do anything. I swear to God it is, right? So, bro, I fucked around and they fuck, 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 fuck. Immediately hit the ground. Why immediately hit the ground, why? Right? And as it's going on, I'm not registered. I'm 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 knowing we get shot at, but it's like did in my head, like my adrenaline rushing, I'm like, oh shit, in my head, Chris good? What, what, what's going on? Is he even gonna come in the house? You feel me? Is that is they gonna was that just a warning shot? Is it over? So as soon as we stop hearing gunshots, I Cause you good? Shit, get up, boy, get up, get up. All right, now we breathing hard as hell, right? They like, they like, bro, go get the gun, bro. Go, nah, bro, go get, go. You know what I'm saying? So now they, they getting their guns and shit, right? Bro, like, like three to five minutes later, right after that, right after motherfuckers checking windows to make sure ain't nobody out there, they spun the block again on us, boy. They spawned the block again on us, but boop, 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 letting that bitch off, nigga. I'm talking about, I hit the floor again. You hear me? In my mind, I'm thinking like, what they got going? What did y'all do to piss these people off? But also, too, I'm thinking, I need to get the fuck from around here because I could lose my life tonight and I ain't got nothing to do with none of this. You hear me? So, after they spun the block the second time, bro, my partner Chris' stepdaddy had called us a cab. Alright? He said, listen, the cab on the way over here right now. We're going to make sure y'all get, get in that cab safe. And that cab is going to take y'all to Pines Road to my people's house. Once y'all get to Pines Road, tell them What's going on? And after that, they gonna make sure everything good, and y'all gonna be all right. We'll get y'all right back to the TP tomorrow. We like, all right. So we sitting there waiting on the cab. And we waiting for the block to get spun again. Cause in my mind, I'm like, bro, I ain't no way they finna just 
allow a cab to pull up, let us get off in that motherfucker, and then we could just ride away scot free, right? Nah, that's what happened. Like, they called the cab, we got off in that motherfucker, and we drove away. Now, the cab driver, I don't know what, what he was, but he could tell we was nervous, we were scared, bro. Chris stepdaddy gave that nigga the address and told him to take us there. No stopping. He took us over there, bro. We hopped out. We went in and talked to whoever it was. You know what I'm saying? It was like, all right, big. Me and, me and my boy end up walking to Walmart. Either that night or the next morning, I forgot. But as we was walking, me and him talking about the series of events that just popped off, right? Cause we like, damn, like, like what's going on, bro? Like, they were just shooting at us and shit, bro. Like, and you know, he was kind of filling me in, like, bro, I'm pretty sure it was some dope, or somebody robbed somebody, or whatever. Cause he was like, you know, it's always something. I'm like, shit, like, that could have almost been us. It's like you're talking about, like, I'm gonna tell y'all right now, bro. I ain't gonna lie, I ain't gonna hold you, bro. I was scared in that bitch. They were letting that bitch off you. Yeah. Man, they let that bitch off twice. And I'm, I'm telling you, probably like two or three dudes shooting, bro. And the fact that none of us got hit, right? But could you imagine, bro, if they let it off and then came in the house, bro, and, and felt like fucking everybody gotta go? But that's real life situations, though. You know what I'm saying? This ain't something I'm just saying to make it sound cool. Like, ooh, I been shot at hell now, nah, but I was scared as hell, bro. I was scared as hell, bro. Like, you gotta be like, I ain't gonna lie, bro. You gotta be like a little sick in the head, you feel me, to like be in a gunfight and not, not like, I mean, of course you're gonna have adrenaline running through your body, but not feel your own life, bro. Like, you feel me? Like, you just ran in that motherfucker, like, I'm ready to die. This ain't 300. You was not born in Athens, and you was not a Spartan. That. The Spartans believed that. That was their philosophy. You feel me? Die in battle. That was like the greatest thing they ever did. You not no Spartan, bro. You feel me? I'm damn sure wasn't no Spartan, bro. So in my mind, I'm like, bro, I'm not finna. Like, you go out there like, remember? Ah! No. Why hit that flow so quick? For real, for real, bro. You gotta be a little sick in the head to be like. Bro, you gotta be a little sick in the head, bro, to, 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 to get in gunfight and. and and, and like it. To like you liking in gunfights and shooting at me and you almost got shot. You you like the fact that you almost died? That's some sick old shit to me. I ain't gonna hold you, bro. Man. So me and Chris, you know what I'm saying? We end up waking up the next morning, you feel me? It was still on our mind. And the shit hit the news. Wait, did it hit the news? I think it did, bro. I think, like, the, the neighbors called the cops and was letting them know, you know what I'm saying, that the, sh the house got shot up. You feel me? Chris people had got up out of them. You feel me? And then that shit had made the news. I was like, damn, like, what the fuck is it? This shit on the news, you feel me? So it was kind of like a big thing, though. And that kind of, like, they changed me and Chris. I ain't even gonna lie. Like, being shot at like they had changed me and him. For the worse, not not for the better, for the worse, for real. Because at that point we was kind of like, shit. That's how I feel. To like, you know what I'm saying? Like, they had us spooked in that big block. So we like, shit. We really finna be on some strong arm type shit. Now you feel me? Like, but like I said, me and him, we just moved differently bro we wasn't like out there like kick going and all that shit we we did stuff that we knew we could do and get away with it without nobody catching us nobody none of that shit like we wasn't crashing out but we was actually putting some thought into what we were doing but it kind of like made us worse i'm not even gonna lie so we end up man like that next weekend me and my boy had went to the skate ring right we ended up going to the skate ring, bro. And you know when you go to the skate ring, we always want Saturday nights, you feel me? If anybody who know anything about Hot Wheels or Burt Coons, you feel me? Y'all know what I'm talking about. Um, 
So we in that bitch skating and shit, you know, and at that time, you know, it was like it was like a teenage thing, like on the weekends, bro, Friday night, all the white folks went. You feel me? And then the black folks who fuck with the white folks, like you was like, if you was black and you was like real country, you went skating on Friday nights. Yeah, they, 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 that's what they play, like country music, you know what I'm saying? Party in the USA, Miley Cyrus looking at me. That what they play. And then, you know, on Saturday nights, all the black people went, you feel me? So it was like, yeah, like, y'all know what type of time we was on. So we go, and we out there skating and shit, bro. Skating, doing our thing, you feel me? Gambling at the pool table. Motherfuckers coming in. Motherfucker coming in with the pills and shit. You get the pills, you either popping them or you selling them. Motherfucker selling uh, little shit on the side, you feel me? You, it was a whole bunch of stuff going on at Hot Wheels Skating Rink, you feel me? I'm talking about, I'm talking you come in that motherfucker, motherfucker catching a fade in the bathroom, you feel me? Shit, you, you gambling on racing games, like you, there was a lot of gambling going on. Motherfuckers in that motherfucker. And we was kids, bro, like we was like, we was young, we was just in that bitch. Thugging, you feel me? Like, nah, for real, bro. So, I'm chilling, right? I'm chilling. I'm posted. I had just, I was sitting down, you feel me? On, um, you know that, that long ass bitch that stretch all the way on each side? You go in the back uh, uh, where, where you can skate. That long ass bitch, you can sit down on this shit. I'm sitting down pulling, and I seen this white dude kind of eyeing me on some shit, bro, but I ain't really. You know, I'm looking like maybe he got a, a child in here or something. I don't know, bro. But then as he getting a little closer, I can tell, like, and in Louisiana, too, like, trust me, I tell y'all, bro. You know, if you can if you can look at a white boy, you feel me? You look at him, and you be like, that's, that's, uh, he hang around black folk. It's, bro, that shit be clear as day. You feel me? Talking about some of these motherfuckers coming in with G-Bikes on, they motherfucking bang. Motherfucker got, probably got some forces or something. He probably got the motherfucking big ass, uh, that big ass, uh, Ralph Lauren earring. Y'all know what I'm talking about. Hey, I'm not lying, bro. Them niggas like straight dope boys, you feel me? Four walks, move up to me, like, say, the homie, let me ask you something. So when he say that, I'm like, now I feel kind of like that nigga pressing up on me, nigga, like, what's happening? Like, so I'm like, what's up, bro? Like, you good? You know what I'm saying? Like, what's up? He like, hey, bro, you know a, a dude named such and such. And he said, uh, Chris, that day tonight. So when he said, I'm like, yeah, like, bro, what's up? Man, that man looked me dead in my eyes, bro. And this was some of the scariest shit, too, because in my mind, I'm like, he could have really gotten him. Because you know that's my people. That's why he came up to me. All this was a plot. You feel me? He said, you know, such and such. I'm like, yeah, why, what's up? Next time you see him, we got some form, right? Just like they, next time you see him, tell him, we got some form, we can kidnap him. Now, when he telling me he gonna kidnap him, in my mind, I'm like, that nigga just told me he can kidnap him. And he just walks off. I'm trying to keep my eye on him. He went to the front, got ghost. First, first. Hey, bro, just some white dude, bro, asking me about, you feel me? For real, what are you talking about? He say next time he see him, he gonna get him and kidnap him. So Chris, like, we gotta go. Just like that, Chris said, we gotta go. I'm like, yeah, you right, we might gotta go. So, called his mom up there. Boom, mama came, picked us up. When we got to the TP, that's when we told his stepdad, like, hey, white dude was at the skate ring, yeah. Uh, 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 hey, bag over here, uh, 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 back of the trunk, you feel me? He like, no, I'm like, uh. Somebody describe him what it looked like. So I'm trying to describe him the best way I can, because that my people, I, I fuck with your stepdad and my people. Yeah, like, all right, don't worry about it. Good looking, good looking. I'm like, all right. After that, bro, I ain't really too much see a Chris that bad like me. You feel me? Like, I thank him and, and, and the mama 
him and Crib Mama had, you know what I'm saying, bumped heads. And so he ended up going down to Barron Road. If anybody who knows anything about Barron Road, you know what I'm talking about, you feel me? Yeah, he out there in the country on uh, Barron Road, you feel me? So after that, it ended up happening. But we still fuck with him, though. We still have fuck with him and everything, man. And after that, you know, like, I ain't gonna lie, she ain't got kind of wicked. You feel me? She ain't kind of got wicked for him. I think them dudes end up catching up to him, bro. Dudes end up catching up to him, you know what I'm saying? And, and I, and I want to say, I don't know. I, I ain't going to put nothing on nobody's name, you feel me? I just know them dudes end up catching up to him, bro. And, uh, shit, after a while, he moved. He got a bottle of Louisiana, you feel me? Shit, that was probably the best thing he could do, bro. Because... You know, Louisiana is like a, it's like a bucket full of crabs. You feel me? Like everybody, everybody got a hustle, right? Everybody got motion. Everybody doing this. Everybody doing that. But the moment you outgrow everybody, outshine everybody, now you got a name, now you buzz, and I motherfucking know what you is. Oh, the jealousy ain't becoming. Because if me and you grew up with the same circumstances, me and you grew up in the same environment, you feel me? Me and you had the same opportunity and chances, and I did something of mine and you did it, when I make it, you gonna be mad. Like, like you will be mad. I'm not saying you, the person watching it. I'm just saying like, people in Louisiana, bro, you feel me? Your partner will make it. And then the next man over here be mad because he made it. So now he either gonna he either gonna set that man up for failure or he gonna feel like he gonna feel like uh what's the word I'm looking for? He gonna feel like he uh entitled to what you got going and the hard work you put in. Right? He gonna bro, bro, I'm not like go ask somebody from Louisiana right now. I'm telling you what I know, bro. As soon as a motherfucker start doing something that somebody else is doing, these are the steps that usually happen, right? And it's not just Louisiana, but I'm just telling you what I know because that's where I grew up, you feel me? I don't know about no other states. I'm not gonna speak on the other state. I'm just gonna speak on the boot, you feel me? This is how I usually go. First things first, right? The vision has been brought to the table, okay? The vision got brought to the table, and as soon as I brought the vision to the table, a couple people was like, man, that shit ain't gonna work, bro. You just wasting your time. And then other people was like, okay, I, I can feel it, you know what I'm saying? Let's see where that's gonna go, right? Now, from the people who saying, let's see where that's gonna go, you might have one or two people that support you, support you. I'm talking like these motherfuckers like everything you do, They'll probably share your shit. They'll get you some business. Like, they in it for you. Right? The other ones who's like, all right, see, they just waiting for the for the paddle. I mean, they waiting for the boat to really just get the move. And then they're going to try to jump on and be like, I've been here from the beginning. But you won't see that because those was the same people that was like, oh, I believe in you. But they never helped you do shit. Until the boat started moving, now they want to hop on. Okay? Now, that was the vision they got set, okay? Now, the vision has motion, okay? The vision has motion. Once the vision has motion, the motherfuckers who sat up and said it's not gonna work, now they saying, okay, let's see how long it's gonna take for you to fail. Damn, you wishing that I fail, bro? The people over here who was like, I believe in you, right? The ones who was helping you the whole time, they already knew this was gonna happen. They they already knew that you was gonna be in a position that you was in. You hear me? They not even complacent with that. They like, hey, that's good, bro. You gotta keep going though, you feel me? We, we on to the next thing, right? But the people who ain't even did shit for you, but kind on your side, that's when they, damn, hey, you what? Hey, that's right. They ain't that motherfucker like this. Wow, wow. La, 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 la. Wow. Wow. Not right, bro. 
Yeah, that those are the yes men. You hear me? Now, once you make it, that's when the sabotage come in. Okay? That's when the sabotage come in. Because once you make it, right? We're not even caring about the ones who said you wasn't gonna make it. The ones who said we're gonna see how far you fall, how, how long it's gonna take for you to fall off. They had already showed their true motives. I'd rather you keep it real with me, right? That's not even dangerous to me. I know you don't, I know you don't fuck with nothing I got going. You had already showed them true colors. Hey, I'd rather you keep it real with me, right? But the most dangerous ones are when you make it, like when you make it, make it, it's not the ones who it's not the ones who helped you from day one. Who, who always supported you. No, it was the ones who was like, I believe in you, but never helped you. Now they feel entitled to you. Right? And those be the ones, bro. Those the real crabs in the bucket to pull you down. Because me and you had the same opportunity. I did some of mine. You did it. Right? You fake like you was going to be in my corner. Right? And, and look, and look, they do shit like this. Watch the people that you have around you. They'll do something like this. They'll be like, damn, okay, I see you been doing that woo -woo. Then they'll come back with you. Hey, bro, uh, I got this idea. Woo -woo. I want to do this. But it's the same thing that you do. <coughs> and you be like, damn, why? Now that I'm doing it, now you want to do it. You see what I'm saying? They'll wait until you start doing something, see the success that you have doing, and then want to copy everything that you did. I'm not saying that because I'm doing it or, or you started doing something that you're doing and it blew up that other people can't follow that blueprint. I'm not saying that. But be your own self. Be authentic to what you're doing. You feel me? You gon' you gon' pick up little pieces, and, 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 and you know what I'm saying from other people, of course. Like that's studying. You gon' study other people, bro, and pick out a little certain shit, bro. You know what I'm saying? It is what it is. But at the end of the day, don't copy that man or that woman. First for first, ball for ball. Don't do that. That's not your life. You feel me? And that's just how people live in Louisiana, bro. Like, like. Some motherfuckers want to see you win, some motherfuckers want to see you fall, and some motherfuckers want to see you win just so you can take them with you. And if you don't take them with you, bro, it's a problem. You feel me? It's a problem. And nine times out of ten, me getting shot at like that was was a product of our environment. Because nine times out of ten, one of them dudes probably was on, and, and somebody else wanted to get on, and it was like, like shit. You feel me? And somebody, nine times out of ten, bro, somebody felt some type of way. Somebody was trying to set somebody up. And somebody was trying to knock somebody off, bro. And you knock off the big dog. You you cut the snake head off. What you got left? Just the body. But if you cut the head off, boom. That's what they were trying to do. Cut the head off. I don't know who was the head, what was the head, I don't know. I was a young buck at that time, and I thought I knew the world. Until they started shooting at us, you feel me? And reality hit quick. I could have lost my life that night. I ain't even tell my mama about this. The only way my mama gonna find out is she watched this video. How you doing, mama? <laughs> but, that was probably one of the scariest nights for me, man. You know what I'm saying? Being shot at like that probably one of the scariest things that I ever been through in life. You know what I'm saying? And then let's say, oh boy could have been so dirty to be like, oh, you know such such, yeah, who got me and took me up out that bit? Ah, uh, because I associate with my partners and uh, stuff that. See how cold the game could have got for you, boy? But, I'm, I'm just glad that God was on my side. You know what I'm saying? God was on my side. I know I need a haircut. Don't, don't, don't say nothing. I'm, I'm getting one tomorrow. But uh, that was that was a scary situation for me, bro. Uh, man, I learned from it though. You know what I'm saying? I learned from that situation, man. That thing is a life experience. You know what I'm saying? This year, I'm grateful for. I'm grateful for it. But hey man, look. I want to say uh, for my end of notes, if you are subscribed to my channel, 
go uh, hit the bell notification and turn on all, not personal, turn it on to all so as soon as I drop a video, you immediately get alerted. Because I be noticing that I drop a video and it'd be like two or three days and then that's ain't enough, my, my views to went all the way up because now y'all getting alerted to my videos. But if you ain't, um, if you subscribe to my channel, hit that bell notification and then turn it on to all. So you get alerted to all my videos, man, as soon as they drop. But look, man, we want to ask you three things, man. Guidance, knowledge, and wisdom, bro. And if it ain't that, man, I already know what time it is with me over here. Till next time. Oh, now.